Good morning. It is March 27th, and I won't tell you how many times I've taken this video. We're going to be looking at Psalms 127 today. And before we do, though, I just want to acknowledge that this these past couple weeks have been just strange and difficult and hard and just trying a trying past couple weeks. But I'm confident that God is going to continue to build his church and God is going to use this to build something in us um, unique to reach our region and to really um, strengthen his, his, his church in this region. So I'm excited about that. As we look at Psalms 127 today, though, I want us to ask two questions. The first one is, I want us to ask, are we carrying out God's agenda or are we carrying out our own agenda? And the second one is, do we value what God values? So as we look at Psalms 127, I want us to be asking those questions. Let's read Psalms 127 now. A song of ascents of Solomon. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he gives his beloved sleep. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of a womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has a quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. So the first question we want to ask is, are we carrying out our agenda or are we carrying out God's agenda? And that's important because this psalm says, unless God builds the house, the builder builds in vain. And unless God watches over the city, the watchmen watch in vain. So what are you building? Or what do you want to build? Maybe it's a business. Maybe it's a career. Maybe it's a healthy family, a healthy church, a network, a garden. Maybe it's an emergency supply of food, which we've all been building over the past couple weeks. Maybe it's an Instagram um, followers because you want to be an Instagram influencer. Maybe it's a healthy body. Maybe it's a, a great wardrobe. The list could go on and on and on. And oftentimes what we want to build is also what we, will, we want to protect. And here's where we need to land with both of those things. We want to be and we must be about our Father's work. Jesus said, on this rock, I will build my church. Peter didn't get to build Peter's church. God planned to build his church with Peter's help. We must be about building the things that God is building. And we must watch over and protect the things that God wants us to watch over and protect. Here's a good test. Um, how do we respond when it's taken away? Are we absolutely crushed if our business or our career or our health is taken away? That helps us to determine, is it our thing or is it God's thing for us? Moving on to verse two, I'm just going to read it really quick. It says, it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he gives his beloved sleep. And this is just a reminder that God gives us increase and rest at the same time. When God is building and God is watching, there is time for rest. Now, this is like not what our culture tells us. Our culture tells us, go get it. Go to bed at midnight. Wake up at 4 a.m. You can make it happen. You know, put pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You, you can make it happen. And what God's saying is, no, actually, if I'm building it, there will be time for rest. And certainly there's, there's seasons where we have to work hard and I'm not saying that we don't have to work hard to make something happen. But as a lifestyle, God gives us rest when we're partnering with him and we're building the things that he wants us to build and we're watching over the things that he wants us to watch over. We tend to overemphasize our importance or our contribution. And this is a reminder that God's the one that gives the increase. Moving on to verses three through five now, and I want to read them again. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. And the question I want us to be asking here is, do we value what God values? Now, God calls children a heritage or an inheritance. An inheritance is something that God really values. Like, think of a, an earthly inheritance from a, from a grandmother or a grandfather. You know, you might get, like, your grandfather's, like, prized coin collection that he's, like, built over his entire life and, like, really values, and he passes it on to you. 
Or maybe you get your grandmother's watch that's like super valuable to her. Well, God values children and God calls children an inheritance. And some things about an inheritance is, number one, it's out of our control. We don't know if we're going to get an inheritance. We don't know if we are going to get one. We don't know when we're going to get one. And children are very much like that. We can sometimes think that we can control that, but the reality is that we can't. God's the one that gives us children, and we need to remember that, and we need to value them. Second, an inheritance is a blessing. It's a gift. We would never, ever reject it. it would, we would welcome it with open arms. And, and likewise, we need to do the same thing with children. And third, it is something that we need to steward wisely. If we get an inheritance, an earthly inheritance, and we just squander it, it would be considered, it would be a, a real shame. And, and, and likewise, children, we need to steward them. So building, for a lot of us, actually looks like investing into the next generation. And here's what's cool. We can be confident that we are carrying out God's agenda as we invest our energy and our efforts into the next generation. And so uh, we want to value children as much as God values children, and we want to invest in them, and we can be confident knowing that we are carrying out God's agenda when we do that. So in closing, let us use this time, this strange time where we're, many of us are at home much more often than we normally are or want to be, and let's reflect, are we carrying out God's agenda or are we carrying out our own? And do we value what God values the same way that God values it? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you that um, through the power of your Holy Spirit, God, you will reveal to us if there's areas in our in our lives where there's things that need to we need to make corrections and maybe we've made things our own and maybe we're even pursuing things that you don't want us to pursue. God, I pray that you would just reveal those things to us and you're gentle to us, God, you're good to us. But God, we want to submit ourselves to you in this season. We love you, Lord, and we are so thankful for what you're doing through us. In your precious name, amen. Well, I look forward to seeing many of you soon and God bless.